What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jaden here. And today, we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial. So, I'm going to be showing y'all how I do my makeup. And I'm not too sure if I'm going to do a crazy look or, like, a natural look. So, you just got to stay tuned for that. But I don't want to waste any time. So, let's just get right into this video. All right. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip back my hair. So, whenever I'm blending my foundation or something, um, my makeup doesn't get all in my hair. So it doesn't look crazy. So I had these little clips that I got with one of my straighteners I bought. It's like a portable straightener and these came with it. So they work like perfectly to just, oh, there's a big old bump. <laughs> ah! To just um, clip back my hair. I look crazy, but it's cool. So as y'all know, I start with the moisturizer. I'll be using I could not even find it, but I'm using the same Pond's Cream and the Physician's Formula Drops. My skin has been really dry lately, so I'm going to lather this baby on. <laughs> so first I start with the Physician's Formula Drops because I read the box when I first bought them and that's what it said to do, which is kind of weird to me, I guess. I don't really know. So I just do three little drops. I don't know if y'all can see that, but... I just do three little drops. And then next I go with the Pond's Cream like I told y'all. I grab a decent amount because this is like a lotion type of moisturizer. So it makes my skin really um like slippery. So when I'm putting on my makeup, it just slips everywhere. So, alright y'all, so I have all my moisturizer. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer instead of the Putty Primer that I usually use. Because this primer, what it does is it's meant to like smooth your skin. So whenever you put on your foundation, it's like, like you have no acne. Like it's just, it's really good. So I love this primer and I honestly used to use it a lot. I've rebought it probably about twice. So, and this one's actually, no, there's a lot actually. Um, but I use that primer a lot. It's really good. Put it in as like moisturizer. It's just a regular primer. For my eyebrows, I use the same ABH Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate. Alright, so I have my eyebrows on. Um, like I said, they do look dark because my hair. You already know the dip. But next, I'm going to be um, concealing them, and I use this brush. The name totally just like rubbed so I did the next under the conceal. I just concealed it right here. But for the top of my eyebrows, I like to conceal them with foundation. Because what I do is I conceal them and then I just do my forehead foundation. And then after that, I do my face foundation. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you mess up the head, I just blend that in. And voila. Yeah, so once I have like my eyebrows decent enough for me to start putting on my foundation, I just grab my foundation. So... I don't really have a technique for blending out my foundation. So there we have it. This is my foundation. So next is my concealer. And like I use for my eyebrows. I use for my under eyes. I use the Cashew one from L'Oreal. Y'all should really, I really recommend this concealer actually because it's super like creamy. It glides on perfectly. It's really full coverage if you have like bad skin or anything or really bad under eyes. I recommend it. So I put like whatever excess concealer I have from under my eyes, I put it on my chin to brighten up my chin. So after my concealer, I grab the Laura Mercier powder, grab the red sponge. And I try and do this as quick as possible because I don't want my under eyes to crease fast because they do crease fast. Oh, that was a lot. So next, I'm just going to be rubbing off the products that have landed on my lips. But next, I'm just brushing off the powder with the uh, Real Techniques buffing brush. So there we have our powdered face. I look like super powdery and super fair. I'm just going to be grabbing the um, Wet n Wild Contour Kit. And mine is B, but... It still works, so that's all that matters. Grabbing some, and I start from up here. You're supposed to start here and build up. Yes, I know, I know. But I like 
to just start here just sorry and blend down but i also like blend up at the same time if that makes sense so i'm just like the other side i'm going to grab this morphe x jaclyn hill what is this better jh 39 breast i could not say the letter i don't know why. so i just dip it in like normal i hit pen on these <laughs> so what i do for my nose contour i have not nose con nose contoured in a long time actually i'm gonna grab a closer mirror because i don't want to get that one it's kind of huge getting a mirror this is just a mirror by the way and i'm going to just what i do is i i want to make sure i can see i start from here and i just bring it down 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 kind of just like keep So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but I'll like try and show y'all. Starting from here, bringing it down. Starting from here, bring it down. I'm just gonna keep going each side. So once that's like, it's really harsh right now. So I'm gonna be grabbing the stain brush I used to wipe off my powder. Kind of just go over that. So I'm just gonna like wipe off the powder. Now I look super dark. Let's add some blush. For blush, I still use the same blush trio from ABH. Um, I just go like this. Tap off the excess. Do a little fake smile. I want to give y'all the full experience of the Jaden Ink Matte Makeup Tutorial. The Catfish Tutorial. Um, but I'm going to be putting in my color contacts. I have not worn these in a minute dude they like they were like dead but i think i'm gonna be putting these ones in then we can start on the eyeshadow all right now that i have my eyes in i'm going to be starting my eyeshadow i'm actually glad my eyes didn't water too much but yeah so i'm gonna be starting off with the morphe 3503 palette i'm using the pinks in this the pinks in this are beautiful i love them so much um probably just gonna stick with like this orange i i kind of want to do an orange look guys um i'm just gonna stick to pink okay but i'm gonna start off with like a bright pink and then probably blend in some light pinks do a simple cut crease and then call it a day <laughs> this shade i don't know any of the names I don't even know. I'm going to add this like off brand Ferrera. I don't even know. I'm be using this brush though. It's like, I don't know. It's just so I can put the shade on. So I'm be grabbing some of the color. I kind of stuck it out shadow, but I really want to pack the shade on. So I'm be going to like pack this on my outer lid since I am going to be doing a cut crease. I want it to like stay away from like my lid area and more like on the outer so okay <laughs> i look crazy okay i love this color it's really pretty i'm going to be grabbing this shade right here it's called i, I don't i don't know where <laughs> It's like a pretty like it's a really pretty pink shade though but i'm going to be just grabbing it and putting it like the middle of my eye and grab this is the um a flutter palette from ColourPop, and i'm gonna be grabbing the shade crisscross this palette is so pigmented dude now i look scary and it's super messy but i'm gonna be cutting my crease to cut my crease i'm going to be using this wet and wild brush it's the one everybody and their mama has it's the best brush ever okay so to pack on to the crease the 
yeah i'm going to be using this shade from the sweet talk palette it's the garden date that's a cute name okay and i'm gonna be grabbing the morphe jacqueline hill jh42 brush it's just a flat headed little brush all right so next i'm going to be grabbing my concealer brush and i think i'm gonna actually grab my foundation for this so it matches better i'm gonna put a little tiny dot grab a little bit on the brush Bam. I'm just gonna be grabbing one of my sponges and blending that out. Before I throw on some lashes, I'm going to be putting on some mascara and I use the lash, I use a voluminous lash paradise mascara. This mascara is really good. So I'm going to be waiting till the glue gets tacky. Now that I have my eyelashes done, I'm going to be grabbing the Sweet Talk palette and I'm going to be grabbing a Morphe m432 brush it's just a flat headed brush and i'm going to be grabbing uh, this color that i used in the beginning i don't know the freaking name of it it's at the bottom left corner though and i'm going to just be buffing that out underneath my bottom lash line for my lip liner and my lip i'm going to be using the nyx pencil in the shade it doesn't say the shade oh it is just natural the shade natural and then for my lipstick i'm going to be using the shade 69 matte beauty the milani lipstick all right guys so this is the finished product of the makeup tutorial i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe follow me on all my social medias i'll be leaving them down below i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all in my next one deuces